All right, we're back with part one, video four. I set out to do a lot of things. Let me clarify the last video. That's why it's good to go over your content. I set out to do everything I ever dreamed of and then some, almost. I should have said it like that. But continuing, acknowledge the psychological impact with my degree and my expertise and with God helping. See, when you allow God to be an say, do, and feel, things come out better on top. But when we put God on the shelf and we put him down just for a little bit, things become out of um, content. It becomes, uh, it spirals out of control very quickly because God says, I am a jealous God, put no other God before me. And then the devil, his jealousy is witchcraft and he just comes to kill, steal and destroy anyway. But he only gets more, even more vicious and even more spiteful and sneakier because he knows that you're God's chosen. So let's teach our children about God. Let's train them up and let's be an example. So continuing with coping with teens and sexting and to find out what they're doing. Um, it may affect their self-esteem, their mental. They've already experienced something. They're already humiliated. Okay. Despite of this interruption in their mental health. In spite of the disapproval and disappointment at the teen's behavior, recognize it's likely traumatizing. It's an experience, traumatic. It's uncomfortable. Um, but give them comfort and the reassurance. In spite of how difficult it may feel or whatever we're going through, whatever you're going through, they're going through, withhold your judgment. Your criticism, and I'm speaking to myself as well, because we need to be there for our children. You can deal with the after effects soon enough. They're going to have to be chastised. Punishment is going to have to come about, you know, safe punishment. Um, if you have a photo, share with that teen um, how you feel. Sometimes things happen and you're lost for words, you know, and I think that's getting ready to be the pocket that I'm getting ready to go in or that I'm already there. So I have to do this exercise with my 14 year old, 15 year old as well. I'm not with the other children, but I pray and I give advice and I give these podcasts as well so that they can view it. And as they watch me, they can see what mommy stands for, you know, discuss potential legal consequences, any type of nude photography, photographs taken, shared sexual intent, child underage uh, 18 is illegal, considered child pornography. I'll tell you about our story. Sharing anything may be considered trafficking 